So this video will be about opening up this box, which is a Star Laptop Mark III from Star Lab Systems. Came from the UK. Coming right up. So we got the, we got the package, which surprised me that uh, it arrived so fast. This is from the UK after all, and they shipped it two day air, and it arrived uh, about two uh, two full days in in a in a little bit more like an evening, as I uh, ordered it late at night. So pretty good. Anyway. We're gonna open this up and see what's inside. As you can see, I haven't even touched it. Okay, brown box. Bunch of labels about lithium batteries. Hmm, how do you open this? There's not an easy clue as to how to open it, so I don't want to make a mess. Uh, okay, let me try this side here. Like I got an edge right. Wow, packed tight. I'm gonna have to just destroy the box. <clears throat> oh, okay, there we go. And there's another box inside. So let's check it out. There we go, main box. Tape, yep. Okay, now we shall see. So there's the computer. It's inside here. So it looks like it comes with di different kinds of uh, plugs for different countries. For the power supply, which is a USB C, and let's see if there's a US one. Yes, they didn't screw up, they sent one for the US because they're shipping to the US. Looks like they have this package to go out to different countries. So, yes, there's the adapter here. Okay, so we got the power supply. Actually, I have a USB-C cord right down here, so I don't even need this. Okay, now let's remove these. About, wow, okay, so it's about the size of my HP Spectre. It's almost the same size. Let me just see if there's anything else in the box. Nope, <clears throat> that's it in the box. No documents or anything, nothing to worry about. Okay, so 
there's the there's the unit I shipped and it comes with cleaning cloth with the star star lab logo on it so cool okay <clears throat> now it says star laptop on there right on the glass it's uh so the top is glass just so this just okay where's the power oh it's kind of like a macbook the power is on the keyboard okay started so they shipped it with a charge And looks like it's starting the setup for Ubuntu. So there you go. Weight wise, I don't know. It's, uh, I would say it's just by memory, slightly heavier, heavier than a HP Spectre. Very slight, about the same size. The keyboard, let me just, uh, get used to the keyboard here the keyboard's really nice I mean it's uh, yeah very nice it's actually nicer than the Spectre there are things about the Spectre I don't like one of them is because the one I have the Spectre I have the HP Spectre I have is silver and you know even though the keys are backlit you can't see the keys because it's the silvers are reflecting it so this one is completely black and it's matte I thought the screen was gonna be matte but it's not it's uh, the screen is actually uh, gloss so yeah I, I uh, misread that so now there's two I thought those were buttons there's a couple of little if you look in here, there's a couple of little things on here. I guess they're rubber, rubber pads for the cover. And they actually have no function. So nice big, uh, nice big uh, touch pad there. Okay. Okay, kind of like a Mac. But not as uh, not as hard as a Mac. The Mac can sometimes be hard to press, and then that gave me some tendonitis. You know, if you're like constantly tapping on it, and you have to press really hard. And this one, well, similar, similar to a Mac. Okay, so the other thing I was worried about was the shift key, because this is a UK keyboard. Because, you know, they have to put the uh, euro and the pound and and all those currency symbols. And I can see there's a little bit of a different layout. But uh, the enter key is different. Yeah, if you look at the... Uh, well, you probably can't see from there, but uh, I'll do a close-up shot of this. And insert it into the video. But the uh, enter key is shaped differently. And the shift key on the left is different. That's probably the, the big difference here. And the power is where the delete is, which is similar to the Mac. So I'm not, that's, that's something you can get used to. And apparently they made a change so that if you hit the power button, it's not going to shut down immediately. So, so they made sure that you're not accidentally powering it off just because you're looking for the delete button. So after everything, the only complaint I have was they shipped this with Linux Mint and I actually ordered Ubuntu 19.2. So that's the main difference from what I expected. Otherwise, it's not a big deal. I mean, I was going to install over the Linux anyway. One of the biggest mistakes I made was to change the keyboard to US English because I figured I'm in the US 
I'm going to use an English keyboard. And I forgot. It's a UK keyboard. And I did not select UK keyboard at the beginning. So, so that's it. The Star Laptop. Very nice big screen. And uh, got it for Star Lab Systems in the UK for $819. And that's a pretty good deal for this kind of quality laptop. Very, very good deal. Same CPU, same exact CPU as my HP Spectre um, X360, which if I remember right, I paid over $1,100 for it. So $819, shipping and everything included. It's awesome, no tax, awesome. So I'm gonna play with this and maybe do some programming. Thanks for watching guys. Thank you.